What happens if our seaports go on strike? The strike is set for October 1st, so you better share this with everyone. Because if our ports close, everything we depend on closes with it. Let's talk about what would happen within the month of October. On day one, international fuel shipments are the first to feel the impact. Crude oil tankers stuck offshore means no new fuel entering refineries. By the end of the day, concerns spread across industries as gas stations, trucking companies, and airlines brace for immediate shortages. Everything from fuel to imported goods is at risk, but fuel becomes the most critical loss. By day three, gas stations are starting to run dry and rationing begins. Prices surge as demand skyrockets. Without fuel, trucks can't deliver goods and the first shortages show up in grocery stores. Businesses relying on imported oil like refineries scramble to maintain operations with whatever reserves they have left. The ripple effect starts to hit home. No fuel means no transportation. And without transportation, the flow of goods stop. Day seven, the energy crisis takes hold. Within the first week, the impact of fuel shortage deepens. Trucks, trains, and ships that move essential supplies across the country slow to a halt. Agriculture and manufacturing are crippled, unable to operate without fuel for machinery and transportation. Airlines begin canceling flights and public transportation services are cut. Gas prices hit all-time highs as panic buying intensifies. By week two, the power grid struggles and collapse looms. Power plants that rely on imported fuel start to struggle and blackouts spread as they ration what's left. People begin hoarding fuel and chaos erupts at the pumps. The stock market plummets as industries reliant on global supply chains begin to crumble. The economy falters and unemployment skyrockets as factories close and businesses shutter. By week four, total breakdown of society. By the end of the month, the energy crisis and fuel shortages bring society to its knees. Cities erupt into fuel riots and law enforcement is overwhelmed. With no fuel, food distribution collapses and starvation becomes a real threat. Communities are left to fend for themselves as fuel reserves dry up completely, leaving transportation, emergency services, and the economy in ruins. Without ports, Crude oil can't get in. Without crude oil, fuel can't be made. Without fuel, everything grinds to a halt. When the fuel stops, America stops. And just so we're clear, this could all happen within the month of October. APL.